there, fellow homo sapien. Are you looking for a cool place to hang out? Are you looking for a place to spend your time because you have no life just like the rest of us? Well, come on down to Hardy's Cafe, a new Discord designed just for an amazing viewer like yourself. Be sure to check the link in the description to join the server and enjoy the video. Shoutouts will once again be at the end of my video. Look for the fries emoji and comment the time you guys see it, along with something you might want me to say. Hello, my fellow homo sapiens. My name is Hardy McSmarty, and welcome back to the only place on YouTube where you can hear a female exposed creator who are bigger and more successful than she is. Today, I'll be covering the topic of Nikocado Avocado. Hear me out, I know people have been on Nick's case for a while now, but recently his husband Orlin has created a mukbang channel that's micromanaged by Nick. Now, I personally watch mukbang cringe, so I see lots of Nick's meltdowns in random moments. I was on YouTube the other day and saw a video that was named What Nick Did To Me, and the previous videos he made recently... Damn. I know I had to give my opinion about this. I've gotten a video I found on YouTube that has some of the main clips of Nick verbally harassing Orlin. Let's take a look at these. I wish we I wish we were back. I wish we could go back to what it used to be. I wish it was back to what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were happy. <laughs> I wish we were happier. I wish we, I wish we were so fat and unhappy. We were just so unhappy. <laughs> Nick is so. Nick is so. Nick is so different than our first man is. He's a different person. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop eating all this. He doesn't stop eating all this shit. We're so unhealthy. We're so. We're so unhealthy. We're. Nick used to be nice. He used to be a nice person. He used to be so nice and kind. And now he's so mean. And. He's not the same person. He's he's not the same person that I fell in love with. He's he's a monster. I'm just gonna eat his his I, need cool. I have no input on your channel. You can do whatever you want, it's your channel. You love to micromanage it. That's like literally... Orlin, if you're gonna argue with me again, I'm just, I'm not gonna do anything. It looks fine. It looks good enough. Okay. What do you need? Just help me like arrange it? So... It, it is arranged. But like, it's exactly how you have it in your okay, No one cares. Well, make it a little different. See, like, that. I think that's better. Like, it looks different. Like, being, being... Orlin, you know, you, you think you're being funny right now? You're not. No one, no one's gonna, no one, no one cares. I know they don't, but they have, like, they have to click on the video. It just looks, I think they just, just stop it, just stop. Maybe if I pour just it, stop it. should I put this somewhere? I don't think it uses anything. Or no, maybe. But it looks like your thumbnail. Cause I eat all this junk to cope with my depression. Hi guys, thank you for being on my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be eating KFC. I'm really excited to be eating all this delicious KFC. It looks really good. Um, it's very fresh. I even have a fresh salad here. Um, I'm really happy to be here to film for you. Cause you guys enjoy when I do that. So, without further ado, do, let's begin eating. These are supposed to be a new menu item. These french fry things, so let me just try. I wish it was back to what it used to be. I 
We're not happy. We're just miserable every single day. We're always fighting. It's always fighting. We're always fighting. <laughs> My head hurts from crying. <laughs> more in a bit, but for you guys who don't really know who Nick is, he was originally a vegan YouTuber living in Colombia when he weighed around 150 pounds. Fast forward to 2020, Nick is around 290 pounds due to the mukbangs and overeating on his YouTube channel. Nick has had drama with Trisha Paytas and Stephanie So in the past. Nick is also known for being quite manipulative and full of himself. He's been with his husband Orland for a few years I believe and has talked about cheating on him multiple times while claiming they're in an open relationship. I personally haven't heard of Orlin being with other people while Nick openly talks about having hookups. Not to mention, the dude has an OnlyFans, which is where he posts inappropriate imagery of his private parts for people to look at after paying for a monthly subscription. Here's a clip of James Marriott's video where he looks into Nick's OnlyFans, warning eyes of the innocent were lost in the recording of this video. Hello everyone, today's video is a nice little midweek upload. Yes, I know it's not James Day, and that also means that it's not a happy day, so I hope you're miserable. This is my favorite, the Kikado clip. in and out was so popular. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Sad music plays. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the video. Oh, look, it's me. Right, let's go through these tweets. Why is he private? I feel like we need oh to go my back. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm eating, I'm eating. It's funny how that looks like George's bed. Like George, I... It does. <laughs> that is my bed. Can, will you subscribe and show us on the screen? I just want to, we can maybe, you can blur it. Yeah, go on, James. Put a bit of budget into this video. All right. Yeah. Starts with, I'm showing, George. Oh, God. I do it in the memeless voice with the stutters. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, you got to do it with the commentary stutter or you're not really saying it. I'm showing my <laughs> fans now. <laughs> <laughs> God gave me one. The human body is beautiful. I'm no different than 5 billion other males on this earth. Only follow if you're 18 or older. <laughs> Enjoy life. Thank you. That's my tweet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ah! James fucking scroll, Jesus! Why is it so long? It's, it's like, a... ah! <laughs> this is horrible. James, no. get off my fucking screen! <laughs> oh, there's the baseball cap. You found the baseball cap. Stop! Please! <laughs> oh, please! It's so many. Please try and get off! James, you've thrown all advertising out. <laughs> James, please, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. I'm dying. No! <laughs> oh, God, God, I'm crying, man. That's nice. He's just he's just walking around. He's having a swim. I'm going to see a cock. I think we're going to see a cock. No, we won't see a cock. <laughs> oh, we got oh. a cock. All right, yeah, you know what? Uh, it was fun while it lasted. Along with this, Nick made a reaction video where he assumed all the guys in this video, who I'm pretty sure have girlfriends, are gay and attempted to flirt with them in the reaction. Nick also posted a video to his OnlyFans for James, which is disgusting to say the least. Anyway, there was the drama with Stephanie and Trisha, which caused Nick to have a few mental breakdowns in the past. Often he yells, cries, or overreacts in a dramatic way. He's sort of known as the man child of in the muck he's sort of known as the man child of the mukbang world. <laughs> Let's talk about the clips of the verbal abuse. 
In these mukbang clips, Orlin is seen eating leftover cold food from Nick's recent mukbangs because Nick won't let him get his own. Orlin also asks Nick for help in order to set up shots for his thumbnails, which Nick refuses to help him. As a content creator myself, I do get not wanting to help others to do previous things that you've done on your own, but in these clips, Orlin claims that he helps Nick, which Nick doesn't deny. Sure, if it wasn't another content creator, I would get it, but when your husband asks you for help with something that might only take 5-10 to 10 minutes because he's inexperienced on how to do something you've been doing as a part of your living? What's so wrong with helping? <laughs> Nick treats Orlin awfully in these clips. The main question here is, is it real? <laughs> we know this is the internet, this is YouTube, people act for this sort of stuff. Creators do things to make money, it's a job. Plenty of mukbangers eat unhealthy food in their videos, but they don't always eat like that in real life. Some of them fast all day and then eat a lot as their final meal. Or other channels do stuff strictly for entertainment purposes. Think of it as this, your favorite content creators aren't always as they seem. Some aren't as bubbly or some don't spend their time playing video games all day when not live or uploading. They're branding themselves. I personally am not an aerial looking content creator in a green okay boomer sweater. Then again, I do own that hoodie and I am a redhead, but my point is, everyone's different in person, same as Nick and Orland. Chances are, this is to gain Nick some attention after his whole drama with Stephanie from a few months back. He is attempting to gain publicity or is honestly just harassing him. I'm not sure of either. It seems like genuine harassment, but it also does seem quite milked. In Orlin's most recent video he made with Nick, they both shared their favorite things about each other. Orlin talked about liking good Nick and then went on to saying that he believes Nick has multiple personalities or a personality disorder of sorts. Now, Nick is a crazy kind of dude. He yelled at Syrian videos, yelled at a woman for feeding stray cats, and beat leftover food on with a broom on a breakdown video, not to mention twerking horrendously on camera. He's also trying to gain 10 pounds in order to be 300 to start a weight loss journey. Apparently he needs to gain weight just to lose the weight he gained to start losing weight. When Orlin suggested he had multiple personalities, Nick smiled and laughed awkwardly. It almost seemed fake. I'd personally be offended if my significant other said I had multiple personalities, like in a negative light. Arlen also cries a lot in this video, calls Nick evil and mean. If you ask me, that's a bit tame considering how Nick seems to be acting. Like when you have a fight with somebody, especially like your significant other as an adult, I don't think you call each other evil and mean, like you'd be swearing, right, I think. With all of this in turn, it almost seems like Nick is doing this for clout or in an attempt to gain publicity, or he's actually harassing Orlin, um, in which case Orlin needs to leave before this gets any worse on his mental health. But with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning into this sketchy situation. I honestly hope all of you guys are safe at home and that your family and friends are healthy during these times. Please take necessary precautions to keep yourself and others safe. Comment down below your views on this topic and let me know if you guys think is trying to get clout or is actually harassing Orlin. Remember to remain respectful to others in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys' opinions are on this situation. Be sure to join my Discord which can be found in the description and check out my community tab for updates and to vote on future video topics. If you're up for it, feel free to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more quality content. Now let's do some shoutouts real quick to end off this video. Thank you, Vanilla Dirt Cake, 654. I sniff a certain emoji here. <laughs> okay, but for real, hi, I found it. You're welcome, you're great. Thank you so much, you're beautiful. MZ Boo, 654. Teddy bear. As a member of the LGBTQ community, I'm, I'm absolutely disgusted. Love you, darling. I love you too. Thank you so much for your comment. Nia Ned, 654. I found you a little piece of, please say a quote from your favorite show. Hey Nia, shout out to Nia, she's frequent, she's a frequent viewer of my content. Thank you for supporting me, baby. Um, okay, my favorite show? Shoot, um, well, I think one of my current favorite quotes, I'd say, is by Christian Slater and Pump Up the Volume. It's, um, it's a movie, sure, but I honestly recommend it if you haven't watched it. It's really inspirational, it's good. Um, the quote is, talk hard. The movie is about freedom of speech as a teen and saying how you feel, speaking out, like saying the real shit, you know? I hope that was sufficient for you, Nia. Thanks so much, you guys, for your comments. They mean so much. All right. Art shoutouts time, BB. Shoutouts go to, I swear to God, Totally Ash, Aesthetic Dork, and Yellow Jello PA. If you want to submit fan art, you can do so by adding me on Twitter, at HardyMixMarty, or submitting it into the fan art channel of my Discord, which can be located under the images category. My Discord is always in the description as well in every one of my videos for you guys. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you all so much. Talk hard, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.